Um, the advertise has been, I think, you know, there's been, I, I think there's been plenty of successes in terms of regeneration in East Manchester. Some that, you know, you can see the quite physical ones in terms of new housing, the stadium, um, Asda, uh, et cetera, et cetera, Central Park. Um, some that, uh, you know, you don't, you don't realise, you don't really notice that it's part of the regeneration. And the advertise is one of those that, you know, back in the old days, and the old days have been eight years ago, um, we didn't have a free newspaper in East Manchester. And so when we started, we saw it as, a, as a, a real negative in terms of, you know, we wanted to get information out to local people. Uh, we put plenty of glossy newsletters out, but, you know, if you're like me, um, glossy newsletters, you think, well, you know, you would say that, wouldn't you? And it's a bit, you know, propaganda and... Um, you know, there's a saying that, you know, you in terms of, of, of newsletters coming through your door, you've got from the time it takes someone to, from the, the, the doormat to the bin, to get your message across, because that's where you usually end up quite quickly. What we wanted to do, to see whether there's a possibility of bringing a free newspaper, into an independent newspaper into East Manchester. So we went out and we, we spoke to a, a few newspaper groups, and um, Guardian Media Group, who, who run the, the, what was the North Manchester Advertiser at the time, said that, yeah, yes, they were interested, but their big problem was, was about advertising revenue, free newspapers, they survive on advertising, particularly in terms of advertising for jobs, advertising for, for houses, estate agents. Um, and they said that there isn't enough advertising revenue in East Manchester, it's a deprived place, we don't think, you know, there, there's much in the way of, uh, that's not, that's, we don't think that's going to change. Therefore, we're not really interested. We said, ha, it is going to change. Trust us, we're going to regenerate East Manchester. It's going to be a place that we're going to be building lots of houses. And we're going to, you know, people be interested in moving here. And advertising, you know, will be, you know, a, 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 a more viable option is now. Um, however, you know, understandably, you might not trust us that much. Therefore, what we're willing to do is to actually subsidise the newspaper over the first five years on a sliding scale, so you know, year on year, you give them less money um, in terms of to, to, to support them because of the, the, the lack of advertising revenue. Um, that was a, we, we launched it, I think it was April 2002. Um, and the great thing was, is you know, within three years, they didn't need any more money from us. With you know, the five years um, the tape, it wasn't required, it was three years, they were self sufficient, uh, they got enough advertising again, you know, primarily through the improved housing market here but through other things as well and I think you know we've got we've had a very close link with them ever since um, we get free space every every uh, week um, that we share with our colleagues in North Manchester that allows us to use that space to talk about things that are happening from a regeneration perspective but it critically it's an independent newspaper that has local news that people actually rely on um, there are some issues there always have been issues about distribution places like Newton Heath have ever really struggled to get in there um, and we've really pushed them in terms of we've now got it in Gort and we've got most of the areas covered in terms of distribution. There are some, you know, a couple of things have happened. Um, I think firstly is that they've moved out of the premises in Beswick District Centre and people thought, oh, well, that's the end of the advertiser then. Um, not so. Um, the Beswick District Centre was always going to go as part of the redevelopment of Beswick as you know, part of the site for the new high school. Um, that wasn't my phone, that was David's no. phone, by the way. <laughs> Um, the new high school, so um, our plans are always to actually replace them with new shopping units. The advertiser, we're always interested in looking at those, but cost is a big factor. They made a decision because, and I'll come on to it in a minute, is that they need to reduce costs, therefore, um, as part of that cost-saving exercise, they've decided to actually merge. Rather than look to, build, to move into new offices, they've moved into existing offices in Ashton. That doesn't change anything. We still have a strong relationship with them. They will still continue to, to um, run the advertiser. Um, there was a, a question that has been raised recently about local jobs and the advertiser, what we've always tried to do with the advertiser is encourage them to, to, to give local people opportunities and there have been jobs created as a result, not huge numbers but small numbers but equally it's given people the opportunity to get a, a start in journalism so they have community reporters and we've tried to you know, push this as, a, as an opportunity for local people to get involved in a you know, proper newspaper and there's been some great examples where people have become community reporters and then moved on. Um, the, the last thing I want to say is about the future and you know the future not just for the advertiser I think for all free newspapers is not particularly rosy um, and you know we just need to bear this one in mind is that these papers don't you know they are sold sometimes in retail outlets but the vast majority of them are free go through the, the you know through your door on a weekly basis um, they do rely as I mentioned before on advertising particularly on advertising for jobs and advertising for, for houses 
as we all know, um, the housing market has come to a grinding halt. Is that very very few properties are being sold. Estate agents are really suffering, like many, you know, the construction industry is suffering, housing developers are su suffering, estate agents are suffering, therefore they're not advertising, therefore the revenue for free newspapers has reduced massively. So there's real pressures on the, on the free newspaper market in terms of what they're going to do. So at this moment in time, um, no, the advertiser is not about to close because it's moved offices. Yes, it's been one of the big successes of, of regeneration. Uh, I'll come on to that in a minute because I think there's quite interesting statistics that I could tell you. Um, but the, you know, the, the future of that paper um, is tied up with the future of that industry and that industry is going through big changes. Just And I just remember this as I was talking then. Is it, uh, the success of the advertiser, I think, I think it's, it's really interesting. We do this resident perception survey that some of you may have participated in. We did it in July. We do it every three years. And one question we ask is about where do you get local information from? And when we first started doing this in '99, is that you know the vast majority of people got it from word of mouth. Um, you know the rumor factory in East Manchester was alive and kicking in those days and very very effective. Um, effective at giving the wrong information out sometimes as well as the right information, but very effective. As time's gone on, if you look at 2002, 25% of people said they used the advertiser. This time, 67% of people said they used the advertiser. Um, and it is really, you know, it, I think people recognise it is a really important part of their lives and an important part of them of getting information, you know, in terms of what's going on in their locality and keeping up to date with things. Therefore, you know, the important thing is, and I think the City Council see this, we cannot, we do not want to see the advertiser fail, we cannot afford to see it fail because it's, it's an important part of the community life of East and North Manchester. So. Hopefully, um, we'll continue to be able to support it um, in terms of the, you know, what we've been doing over the last five or six years in terms of, of, of developing it and supporting it. And we hope that we'll see it for years and years to come.